Professor Harold Krant, Dean of the IIT Chicago Kent School of Law, sits down with the Miller Center's Mike Deshays to discuss the Kent Forum and the importance of the American founding in legal education. Professor Krent, tell us about your program, its name, when you started it, and what you're trying to achieve. At Chicago Kent College of Law, we've been very pleased to host a program in the summer for college students, college students from backgrounds and communities that are underrepresented in the legal profession. And we try to work with them to try to empower them, to give them choices about what it's like to be a leader in the community, should they go to law school, should they take on that kind of responsibility and challenge. And I'm gratified that the uh, Jack Miller Center has helped us in this endeavor and has tried to help us focus as one of the planks of the program to work on constitutional law issues at the founding. So as part of the program now for, e for the last summer in 2009, we did a course on the, the founding principles as exemplified in the Constitution for the students. And so now when the students go through our four-week program, they will not only know more about law school, they'll know more about leadership in the community, but at the same time, they will have these uh, principles uh, that are so important in the Constitution deeper in their minds, and they'll carry them with them, whether they go into business or into law or into some other profession. Describe what the program offers and why that's important for students. In general, what we try to do is expose students to the legal type of instruction. So they're not used to the kind of Socratic method going back and forth, and we'll teach them some substance, as in the constitutional law questions, um, but we'll also teach them about uh, how to apply to law school, how to demystify the law school application process, but at the same time we introduce them to leaders in the community so they can understand through the prism of other people's experiences what it takes to, to be a leader, to have other people emulate what you do. And we think that kind of experience in a well-rounded sense is very important to help these college students make a decision about how to guide their lives in the future. What are your plans to sustain and further develop your program for your students? We have offered this program for about seven years. Um, the question is continued funding. Uh, as with other programs, our prior funding sources dried up, and so now we're working with individuals and institutions such as the Jack Miller Center to try to uh, cobble up enough funding to sustain the program in some, in some way. We've had some initial successes, and I'm counting on the Jack Miller Center as well as many other individuals and alums and other foundations to help us uh, uh, continue the program because I think it's a very vital one to try to, in a sense, empower people to make decisions for their lives. Should they go to law school? Should they go to business school? Should they try to think about becoming leaders in their communities? Um, so I'm, I'm committed to the program in some form, and I'm just very hopeful that we can continue it uh, with the help of our sponsors. Why do you think it's important for students in college to learn more about America's founding principles and history? One of the things that a lawyer does is our, the, the lawyer is responsible to the public for, uh, for understanding the court system, for being a representative of, of a justice system. You can't implement that role unless you have an understanding of what the values are of our justice system and what the founding, founding planks are of our, our court system. So everybody who goes to law school, everybody who thinks about going to law needs to be versed in constitutional principles and understand how they endure, how they bend with time, um, but not break. And I think that's something that we want to uh, expose college students to, understanding the framework, understanding how rights generate from that framework, and that'll enable them to make a decision about whether they want to steer their lives towards the law or not. Tell us how your relationship with the Jack Miller Center helps you in your efforts to enrich education for your students. Well, I think that Jack Miller Center was very wise in suggesting that we add a new component to the program. And the component was a more uh, uh, direct examination of the constitutional principles over time. And we have now uh, added that to our program. We hope to continue that into our program. And that will give the students in this program a more of a well-rounded understanding of what it means to be a lawyer, what it means to represent individuals whose rights are being challenged, and what it means then to be an informed citizen of our country. What kind of response have you gotten from students about your program? Students have been wildly excited about the program. Not every student will go to law school, um, but students understand that they have gained an invaluable experience. They've met other college students from around the country, but they've also been exposed to 
aspects of leadership. And what I'm most proud about the program is we try to empower students to make decisions over their lives that will help them in the long run, whether it's to go to law school, business school, or work in a corner um, pharmacy. And so we hope that students will use these lessons, whether it's about the Constitution, it's, uh, it's about our legal system, for good no matter what they do afterwards. Thank you, Professor Krent. This has been a Jack Miller Center digital media presentation. For more information, visit thejackmillercenter.org.